Jane Brown. Good to see you. You guys, hi. It's Lynn from L&J Goods. And Megan is hi. here. And we are going to check our sound. Is everything good? I think so. Let me make sure we can get our camera angle correct. Perfect. Look at that, Megan. I dare say, even though I had to quickly um, do a little with, with blue tape and, oh, my tripod just fell apart. Okay. <laughs> Please. So, hey, you guys. Welcome. It's Lynn and Megan is here. We're at L&J Goods. We have a little brick and mortar shop here in Medina, New York, and we're so excited to be here. It is week 30 of the Basement Chronicles. Can you believe it? Week 30, I think. Yeah, I think it is. I thought it was week 51, actually. No. <laughs> Almost Megan, positive. Megan would give anything for it to be week 51, but uh, it is not so. So, um, yeah, we're here on a quest to uh, clear out our basement one project at a time. Um, so that I can reclaim my upholstery area. Let's see if we can make that happen by the end of the year. We've got the holidays coming. We have a basement full of Christmas. <laughs> we have got an incredible retreat coming this weekend. So Right excited. here in so Medina. Excited. Oh my gosh. We, Megan, are you excited? I am very, would very you excited. Say I that, can feel it in the air. Would you say that you're excited? Yeah. I did, really? I did just say it. Actually. Did you? Yes. So I, w I would say it, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that you're excited. I'm excited. I'm just, <laughs> I happen to be multitasking and also adding IOD inventory to our website. So wow, it's ready we for just everybody. Wow, a beautiful big order yes. in. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Please let us know that you're here. Leave us a comment below. Have you ever thought of painting furniture brown? Um, usually I'm the first one to say, uh, we don't like brown furniture. And so we want to paint it a pretty color. Yes. But I'm going to tell you about a really pretty color that we're going to be using today. And it is Fusion's chocolate. It's delicious. Not only does it sound delicious, it looks like you could dip a and strawberry it is in food, it. And it is safe to eat. No, technically, we're not going to say that. We're not going to say that. Is. Please, we're not. Gonna, please, disclaimer. No, this is not safe. But to if eat. you accidentally tasted some because it looks so much like chocolate, you would be fine. <laughs> Megan, you really do have to be careful with stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> girl, you really do. <laughs> okay, don't eat it. Don't. And obviously, eat never listen to anything I say. Well, uh, we should know. They this do. is a comedy YouTube. Oh, first and baby. foremost, it is purely satire. Yes, you can't take. Every, you have to take everything we say with a grain of salt, but yeah. don't eat everything we use. You with can a grain eat salt. salt. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is going nowhere. Anyway, um, so the the walls are closing in down here because we have got. All a, a lot of our Christmas inventory is in the basement instead of like bringing it in the back door, taking it up to the one flight, another flight up to the second floor. We just decided to keep the bulk of it right down here. So we've been unpacking it and pricing and doing all that good stuff. Patrice is here from Tampa. She says, water out of the bay, rain and down trees, still not out of the woods. Oh, Patrice, we Ugh. have been praying for you. For sure. I am so sad. Patrice is one of the people that signed up for our retreat here. One of the first people. I know, and we are going to miss her so much. She is stuck in Florida, and we just feel so sad about that. We just but might have to go to Florida and see her when this I is I think well. one of these days we're going to, Patrice. Could you recommend a nice little cottage on the beach for Megan yeah. and I? <laughs> or do you have an extra bedroom? <laughs> I would never impose myself in that I way. I would. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you have a place where mom could stay. Oh my goodness. Well, Patrice, please forgive my daughter for <laughs> her boldness. Um, I thought that I taught her how to be hey, charming and discreet and um, humble and... Um, anyway. I thought that was charming. <laughs> I guess yes, I got all sure wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, so I I mean we have got Thank projects you. here, but here's what I'm focusing on this time of year, and it just seems to 
B, we are always looking for that extra little bit of storage mm -hmm. for our homes. So the little extra buffet, a little extra hall table, a little extra sideboard, something that we can pop behind the sofa to put, you know, Christmas decor on. We can put in addition or put it in, in the dining room additionally for buffet serving. We can add it to a hallway or at the end of a hall. And I love those kind of pieces. In fact, I'm constantly telling JR, we need to come up with a plan, a pattern for a very basic table that's like, Mm -hmm. Like 22 inches deep, yeah, like a sofa. 32 table. inches high, like a sofa table. It's perfect, and and it can be used in so many different yes. ways. If it has a shelf on it, all the better. It can so, be a little desk, even. It's well, like so many ways you could use it. Let's talk about this piece, for example, that we're going to work on today. Then we'll get back to the brown thing. So this was a little desk that uh, one of our former customers brought to us. And uh, or I want to say customer. former. No, why did I say former? One of our customers say, is brought there a time to us. where we close a chapter on a customer. <laughs> Never. <Okay. laughs> well, well, we did talk about one the other day, and said the, she is well, banned. Laugh, laugh from ever say, ordering. That's true. Again. That is when we say former. Yes, actually, that is. We have a list of customers. Oh my gosh. With all of the hundreds of orders, hundreds and hundreds that we do every uh, month. Excuse me, Braggy. No, but I'm saying we rarely Sometimes have tens. an issue. No, we, we don't. rarely have an issue. Sometimes you do have to sweep out the old riffraff. <laughs> sweep out the cobweb. Yes. <laughs> In the corners. <laughs> anyway, um, so back to back to our project. Yeah. Um, so this customer, what we purchased this from a uh, we purchased this from a customer. This was a this was actually a vanity piece, and you may recall a few episodes back, I sat on a little vanity bench and I sank I missed and it. slowly sank into the rattan oh. seat, the cane seat, and broke right through it. Yeah, and I was out of town, which is oh, so frustrating. It means I got to do something different with that with that thing. But this is a good example of a multi-purpose piece. It came to us with it has slots for a mirror. JR is actually going to fill in um, the little top here. I know you can't see it, but there's just two little indentations um, that he's going to fill in with wood. We can do that. Um, we can do that later, af even after I paint it, because I can just touch up afterward. But um, this is just such a great piece because of the size of it. It's perfect. And really. it has two drawers. I mean, I could see this being used in um, as a little desk. It could be used as a sofa table. It could be used as a little sideboard. It could be used in a hallway. It could be used with a vessel sink on it as a bathroom vanity, which yep. would be really cool. And then in the back, I don't know if you can see that, but we have another piece that we're working on. And um, we're not going to get to that today, but uh, maybe next week we will. But it's, it's a wonderful piece that we got from our picker friend. We got it for a, a very reasonable price. The shelf on the bottom was saggy and warped, so JR replaced that, filled in, and rebuilt the drawer. And I, I, we are willing to put that kind of work into it because of the size and usefulness of a piece like that. It's a very versatile piece. So what we did to prep this is um, we gave it a good uh, sanding, not super sanded down. We're using fusion, but I, I kind of do this with Debbie's too because I like to I like to lightly sand like with about a 220 to just knock any gloss off. It just like a decent sanding. This is a decent sanding. And and then I went, this was very glossy along here. So I really paid careful attention along here to um, to knock that down as well. Thank and you everyone for your blessings. Oh, oh. Mama's <laughs> uh, so busy. Yeah. Talking about that. Oh my gosh. But thank you everyone. Yes. So, a lot of times, you know, even if you go with this with a palm sander, um, these are edges, like see this little cove edge right here? 
and these little parts, you got to get in there with a hand, you know, in hand sand. Especially by you, we mean Shirley. Well, I did the, I did this one this morning. That's great. Yeah, I did. Because these are the areas, think about this. This little cove edge is, is probably, that is the foremost edge. You're right. And it's going to get the most wear. So you want to make sure that you really prep these areas well. It's not that fun. Honestly, older varnish comes off so quickly, but I literally just took a little sanding paper and I just glossed over it. And no, let's not use the word gloss. Oh, I don't want to use the word gloss. No. And I just <clears throat> buffed over it. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to remove the entire finish. And then of course we, um, we washed it really well with our TSP substitute. I was thinking today, uh, my plan for this piece is that I love the legs on this. And they're actually in very, very good shape. So my thought is... I'm um, sorry, I was distracted. Were you talking about the desk or me? Pay attention. <laughs> I'm going to be using Howard's on the legs just to kind of freshen up the wood finish on them. I'm not going to strip them down because they're a pain in the neck to strip when they got all those fluted cur curves and edges. And so forth, <laughs> Megan. You're so bad. Because <laughs> now you can think anything, about it. Stop about my legs. Anything to throw me <laughs> off. <laughs> Those beautiful I was on a roll. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to get paint on those legs. No. So we're going to tape those off. Shirley has already um, prepped my drawer front here, the two drawer fronts, because we're going to add a really pretty, subtle little decoupage. And I say subtle because it's going to blend in nicely. It's going to be just a really a pretty classic look. This is from Decoupage Queen. It's part of the fall release. I'm really hoping oh, that so I, oh, I can use one paper to do both drawer fronts. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so Isn't pretty. that beautiful? And then we'll, we'll, of course, we'll change out the hardware. I don't know. I might put it back on. Hey, Denise, how are you doing without my Aunt Karen? Oh, my, my sister's lonely in without town. her. So here it is. We're going to use this beautiful paper, and it's got all those beautiful brown tones in Shannon it. has that paper. She's very excited. Oh, my gosh. Well, I ordered it in big sizes, too, Shannon, because I <laughs> seriously wanted to do it on a, on a bigger piece. So um, since we're all prepped and ready to go, let's put these guys aside. And No, actually, you know what? Let's, let's decoupage these first. Let's do that since they're all ready to go. And then I can put them aside and go ahead and finish painting. Sometimes do you ha do you really have to think through like what step do I do first? What because how do we leapfrog this and make it work well? Yeah, that. you're going to tell them. Well, Hopefully. right now. <laughs> and it's funny because if you're prepping for um, like steps for like the video or, Hi, Susan. you know, you've got a lot of different projects going on. You do have to think about, okay, what can I clean and prep? What can I paint? But I can get a base coat on what, you know, you, I work with many projects in stages and I'm always thinking of how to best utilize my time. You know what JR says? Of all the nerves. I think what you should do is you should start one project. If I may make a suggestion. Yeah. Can I finish what I'm saying? Yes. He thinks that I should start one project and finish it to completion. Then start another project and finish it to completion. How many of you? It's just not how, how brain works. How many of you out there that are like me and you do this thing, right, with the furniture? And, do you do that? Let me know in the comments. I think it applies even to just like if I'm like cleaning my house. Yeah. I'll, I try so hard to give myself a reasonable goal of I am just going to deep clean the living room. Right. Well, then I'll find something there and I have to put it away somewhere else. And suddenly I'm reorganizing a closet upstairs. And now my whole house is a mess. 
And I've made s'mores Rice Krispie bars. <laughs> Somehow in the middle of all of that. <laughs> Megan, could you grab me a chip brush yes. from the rack? Um, I'm going to be using Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel today. And we are going to go ahead and quickly apply this decoupage paper and let it start drying so that um, we can move on to the next step. But seriously, I mean, we all, we, we all have like lots of things going on at one time and you do want to be efficient with your time. I do think working on three things at a time is efficient if you plan out your steps along the way. Yes. It and does, don't go and make Rice Krispie bars. It does work. It's just hard to actually execute. <laughs> yeah, it is. So let's get a good generous layer of our decoupage gel on here. And I'm just so excited that one sheet, one $6 sheet is going to work on this, on these drawers. That's so cool. Now, all of you in the audience, students, students, can you tell us why we painted these drawers with a light color paint? Let's see who's been paying attention. I just want to, I'm going to write the answer down on the paper so you know that I'm not copying it from anybody. <laughs> Megan, you know the answer. You do not need, oh my gosh. You guys, she thinks that she is going to somehow get a prize for getting the right answer. And there we go. We're just going to press it into place. I'm not looking at it. It makes the paper pop better, everyone's saying. Which, as you can see, I already said. <sighs> what does that say? It says, so the pattern Make shows Rice up. Krispies treat? No. That, and that has a check next to it. <laughs> oh, check. That I happened know. because I was cleaning out my cabinet, which I meant to clean my living room and somehow ended up cleaning out my kitchen cabinet. Found a box of golden grams. <laughs> But if they didn't have the golden grams, grams. yeah, yeah. I will make you. I was thinking about making some cookie butter Rice Krispie treats. I saw Mom and I are very deeply into a Trader Joe's TikTok oh right now. I literally, gosh. and oh. this recipe was from her. Oh my gosh! So I have a really funny story Mom, to tell about that. If if uh, you'll indulge me, I would. Love so to. Megan shared a recipe. I shared a bite. Actually. An actual yes, you did, because you yes. brought leftovers in. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So it was, um, it was a recipe with chicken Italian sausage and lots of garlic and red pepper flakes and couscous, sun -dried and spinach, sun-dried tomatoes. It was really good. Pop Quiz, has Grandma ever tried couscous before? No, <laughs> we know she hasn't. <laughs> and so. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make that. I went to the grocery store, got everything I needed. Even was, bought a head that you could use rice. And I said, I'm going to substitute. I looked at what quantity of rice I would need mm -hmm. according to, like, the cooking time and you all did of prep. that. You prepped it. I prepped. Man, did I prep. And I knew it was going to be a quick and easy recipe. That's so right. I... I I got it going. Uh, we had some fresh corn in the cob, which is like the last of the season. Got it on the Indian table. Corn. Hmm? You guys had Indian corn. That's all. <laughs> that's all. That's we, all. I was ready to serve it up, right? So, uh, oh, the last step is that you add a dollop of um, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, right? And so I did that step, took it out of the fridge, got that going, and, and served it up. Rang the dinner bell. Rang the dinner bell. So came running. Came racing to the table. <laughs> Boy, am I hungry. And we proceeded to eat our dinner. Everything was delicious. Kind of. Kind of. So you felt like there was something I felt off. like there's something just, this doesn't taste like Megan's and it's not there's just the rice. Some, there's a flavor that's Something's not right. There's a flavor that's off. And I, I couldn't quite put my taste buds on it, yeah. right? And so, look, I'm and everything the, looked right. I'm using the packaging to smooth down my decoupage paper, my rice paper. That way, I'm not, cre I'm not causing too much friction on the rice paper because when you get that rice paper saturated, it can, it can be a little moody and it can... Uh, tear apart. So there we go. 
Actually, I wish I had a brayer, and I don't think I have a brayer down here. Go get your brayer. Could you please? I don't mind. That would be get terrible. my steps in. So, so we're having our dinner, and I'm thinking I can't quite put my finger on what is this? What is this flavor that I'm tasting? And JR's eating away, and I'm kind of picking at mine, like kind of picked up a little chunk of sausage, and just yeah, I, I taste a little bit of the rice, and and I I just wasn't quite getting it. I just wasn't getting it. And then I realize, did I put Greek yogurt? <laughs> it just what I bought was vanilla Greek yogurt. So that's what I put into this savory, spicy dish. Oh my gosh. And of course, it drove me crazy the whole rest of the meal as I kind of picked away and I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta, like, before he notices, like, something's not quite right with this dinner. <laughs> I, I was like, well, okay, I'm, I start to clean up the table. I was like, do you, you want me, do you want another ear of corn? There's, there's more corn there. He goes, no, but I'd love another serving of the rice and sausage. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and JR proceeded to yep. eat another entire serving while I took you the said contents. I that saved mine for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I took the contents of the fry pan, like, I cannot throw all of this away. I put it in a colander. I can't believe it. And I you. totally rinsed it off. <laughs> that is wild to me that you did that. I would have been like, scalp pearl. <laughs> I know. Megan, at the price of groceries these days? I would. I would not. I would not oh, I go to the I point of rinsing I got to it. correct this somehow. And so I, I rinsed it all off in the colander. Meanwhile, JR is happily eating his vanilla uh, <laughs> vanilla savory Italian sausage rice oh my and I um and then I put it back in the fry pan I, I was like oh I've got some more rice I can add to this which I did have some and I had some more chicken broth and so I added some more like onion just kind of and a lot of extra red pepper and truly it, it just it made all the difference in the world I've been eating it Ash, I had it for lunch two days. So <laughs> Shane said she's rinsed food off. I've like, I guess if I've dropped something, I've rinsed it off. I've never done that where I've made a whole <laughs> meal and then rinsed and reused. That's so, insane. I'm sorry, but I was not. I'm getting ready to paint this, and all, what I'm doing is I'm taping off the legs because remember, I'm going to keep the legs a natural wood tone. Ooh, Mary Jo just had lunch in Terre Haute. Is that how you say it? H oh! Setting your way. It's going to be here. We have 20 ladies coming from all over the country. More than and half. That's a lot of gentlemen, right? Not, not in, in the class, class but, but it's hangers More out. than uh, many more, probably two thirds of them, are coming from across the country. And we are so excited that they're going to be here in our little town. I've been gathering up our supplies all day. Getting, getting all ready. Just getting all ready for you. And I'm so excited. With Fusion Mineral Paint, um, you really do not need a lot of paint on that brush. I typically remove the excess from the brush and go ahead and paint it on. Yes, we are painting this a rich chocolate brown. So here goes the first coat. And I think this is going to look really pretty. Can you with move that, that back a little bit? Yep. I think it's going to look really pretty with um, with that paper because uh, it's going to be a very subtle color shift. And then I may add a little bit of a highlight of something, like a little shimmer, uh, maybe on the handles or the poles. I'm not sure. Hey, Lisa. Uh, I've got a few um, outfits laid out, <laughs> Cheryl, and some of them are, I have to like, have options depending on my mood. Is it Cheryl from Maryland? Cheryl Macedo is from Maryland, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl's probably already sitting in her car, just warming it up, ready to ready to drive here, Can't right, wait. Cheryl? Oh my gosh. Have you decided on your retreat outfits, Cheryl? <laughs> well, you're probably gonna be like painting and stuff, so maybe you don't want to wear it. Well, 
We have other things to do. We have a cemetery walk. What are we wearing Ooh, for that? Yes. You guys, we have a nice campfire going, and JR is very concerned that you will be dressed appropriately. Um, as long as the winds are okay, we're, we'll have that campfire out at the lake. But um, please make sure that you have a warm something. He's, he is very concerned. He's, now, he doesn't want know. you asking for any of his. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, we're not supplying blankets for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I keep forgetting that we have the campfire. We do. Aren't you spending the night with us? We're going to have a little sleep I've considered over it. I've considered it. So the cool thing with fusion is it is self-leveling <laughs> also. So as this, um, as this dries, it's going to level out. I'm not going for complete coverage with this first coat. Does anybody want to go to yoga with me? Saturday, I go to yoga on Saturday morning if anybody wants to go oh. at 8 a.m. I ask mom every week and she always says no. Um, so I just maybe thought <laughs> somebody else who's coming would like to go. Would be your mom for the day? Yeah. Well, I have all my yoga moms. Every one of my yoga moms. I know, class. Megan. You always tell me that. <laughs> Thinking that it might entice her to say, I'm going to show up there. I'll tell show, them, show them who her mom, mom is. Show she them just simply is. says, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll go live, Shannon, I'm sure. We were just talking about that today. We're definitely going live on Friday. Yeah, we're going to do our usual Friday live. Maybe but if some special. of the girls are here, I can. we can, can do a little on. project around the table or something like that. I know, Cheryl, I'm so sad that Patrice won't be here. I just want her to be I'm safe. I'm so and... sad. She would have gone to yoga with me for sure. We have such an incredible little group of, of folks that follow along with us, and we really appreciate you guys so much. We're all ready. There's already a buzz about the next retreats that we will have next year. Shannon would have gone to yoga. Shannon... Um, well, less than next time you will go to yoga with me, Shannon. Um, and possibly you're going to be able to meet mom's mom and sister. That's those right. of you that are coming, which I think is very cool because. Oh my gosh. And grandma's making taffy tarts, which grandma's I making can't taffy tarts. believe. I literally cannot. We got to, we got to order stuff. Okay. We got to do it. Yeah. Sort of. yeah. So my grandma, mom called her and was so sweet and cute. Like the way I asked mom for potato salad. But way nicer. <laughs> I'm more demand. I don't put pressure when she told I'm me more no. I'm more demand. She told me no. Mom said, okay, oh, oh, okay. But, but mom, 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 mom is mom, mom, much. Seriously, it's okay. That mom actually played it. She played it right. And I could take a page from her book. Okay. She called grandma and said, mom, you remember how you said, hey, if there's anything I can make for the retreat, you said, how would you feel about making like three dozen taffy tarts? She said, three dozen taffy tarts? <laughs> Oh, you know, know how much work that is? Oh, you're going to find out, Cheryl, what a taffy tart is. Oh. oh, she says. Mom said, no, 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 no. I totally understand, Mom. I get it. Mm -hmm. I totally yeah, get it. Because I, I respect my mother. She, yeah, but I feel like you were playing the long game. No, I Now that I'm looking back, I was it. not. I totally and wasn't. I would uh, never put her in a compromising Situation. Well, you're not 90 years old, and well, you're not perfectly either. capable of making potato salad a couple times well, a year. Well, I want and you to know. What? And guess what? I made potato <laughs> salad last week for JR and I, and we ate it for three days. I hope everyone here heard that. <laughs> and I am not. We had hot dogs. <laughs> I am, am literally speechless, and when I tell... I wish I could have recorded that. I'm well, it is recorded, oh. and I'm gonna show it to Ben and Katie. No, Can you believe not. what I'm dealing with here? She likes torturing me. That is, you're lucky. I just had therapy yesterday <laughs> <laughs> because I am being very. I am gonna handle anyway, this, and I am gonna not be it, triggered. As it, tur <laughs> as it turns out. As it turns out, Grandma called back five minutes later and was like, "You know what I was thinking about it. <laughs> course, I will. I can the make them. groceries." <laughs> and you, Mom's. Oh, of course, I'll buy all the ingredients, which I've said to my mom as well. You have never. I will what the potatoes and potatoes and pickle juice. 
I would happily, I'll buy it right now. I'm going to order it from Instacart right now. Dude, I bought yellow <laughs> potatoes $6.95 for a five pound bag of potatoes. Yeah, but you guys ate that. When? Every one of them. Since when are potatoes, Listen. potatoes are like a staple. My father often talked about coming through the depression and all they had was potatoes and cabbage. You guys hear me doing my breathing? Now the word potato is a trigger word for me. <laughs> So I'm gonna do box breathing, which is breathing three times up one side of the box, hold it, release, and then hold it again. Okay? Thank you. So long story short, grandma's making the taffy tarts. And mom is chock full of potato salad. So is JR. So and she's painting a brown. Look how pleat she is so smug. I am really Really? <laughs> really, really. Just in disbelief. Oh, gracious sakes alive. I can't it. My stomach hurts from the You have been dying to tell me that about that. Okay, you were waiting. And you made a big mistake by doing it live. My favorite paintbrush, this Tell Me Stir paintbrush, and I won't let anybody else in this building use. Once I let JR use them, and, and he said, Wow, it's like the paint paints itself. That's how good they are. Yes. And trust me, he, he wouldn't let me touch one of his brushes. Oh no, Cheryl, she didn't say chicken salad. No. <laughs> That's not what she said, Cheryl. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Not what, she said. what a good laugh. Woo. Oh yeah, everybody's having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> oh gracious. <laughs> Fusion doesn't make those brushes, but they that's where we got They're them called Stalmeester. And we do sell these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally counting down the minutes so I can call Ben and Katie. <laughs> but now I'm gonna have to go back through this video and find, and find out. You are... Stallmeester. It's not spelled like that, Shannon. It's. Let's see if I can give it a whirl. It's got a bunch of couple of E's, couple of A's. There might be an side H, which side. I never put in the right place. No, is that true? I no. I think so. Oh no, you're right. I think I'd add an H. H. Spell it to me. S T A A L L M E E S T E R. So it's really just like it sounds, even couple though we've never days, once days. been told the right way right, to say it. Right next to each other. Yeah, that's what I said. That oh was right. gosh, you guys. <sighs> they are amazing brushes, Shannon. They really are. <laughs> Yeah, JR would never let me use one of his brushes, but JR okay. doesn't really paint too much anymore. Well, all right. We do need a potato salad workshop, Cheryl. You're right. You know? And just so everyone knows, I did, Mom did, though, let me take my house upstairs. Boy, she really squirmed her way right into that one, and we never did get the itinerary. We talked about it the whole time. Well, we didn't get it down in writing. I expect you're going to work a little late. Yeah, I'll work late Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm sure. How about that? All right. So it's there's my first coat. Isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. You guys, here's a good tip for your brushes. Please don't let your brushes dry mm. with paint on them. I, um, if I'm going to... If I don't want to do a complete cleaning of these, and one day we've really got to show how to clean a brush properly. I would still love to clean brushes. I know. I know. No one gives them to me to clean anymore. Oh, well, uh, you've clearly said you have way too many important I am to busy, but it is it is relaxing to me. I like cleaning them. <sighs> All right. Uh, what type of brush should a non-professional use? Well, you, I like to use a Stalmeester because I'm not professional. It makes my job a lot easier. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If but you, the zebra are good. 
zebras are great brushes and, and we very do have those cost effective. but make sure that you keep this brush wet <clears throat> up to the ferrule we don't want the paint to dry on here if this paint dries i'm going to show you a good example of what can happen now granted we um we use our brushes a lot but I, when the paint is not cleaned out properly, it can, even if you think it's cleaned out properly, when you rinse, you want to squeeze that out. And I can tell by feeling this, I guarantee you, if because it's still a little damp, if I were to put this in water, I could be able to squeeze out a little ribbon of paint from in here. But what yeah. happens is, is it begins to dry. Even if it's very, very diluted, it will dry down in those bristles and it starts to separate the bristles. Can you see that? This was a really nice, straight, beautifully formed brush. And then as the paint dries down in the, in the base of this brush, it causes the bristles to spread apart and all of a sudden you don't have a good brush anymore. Mm. We use these for scumbling. <laughs> so there you go. You are really on one today. No, I you're really on one. one. No, I'm sitting over here, look at me. <laughs> can anybody see me in the mirror? If you can, you'll see that my arms are crossed. She and I is not very me. cross. She means business, you guys. Um, okay, let's kind of turn this over this way. My camera, Megan. Because what we're going to do is we're going to prep these guys. I just have my little, uh, my pad, or my envelope here, the clear envelope. And take a brayer, and I'll brayer that, and it will flatten that right down and adhere it. And any excess paint that's in there will be squeezed out, or excess medium, will squeeze out the other side. Okay. Beautiful. We do I need to do anything else to my house before I leave today? Or can I just leave it? No, just leave it. Okay. Okay, so we get a nice Hold flat. on, you took it right out of the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't mom? No, I gotta do the other one anyway. And here's the other one. Adding this sheet between the um, my brayer and my my decoupage paper is gonna reduce the surface tension on the, the friction. Paper. Mm -hmm. And it'll be less likely to tear. But boy, that gives just such a nice flat very nice smooth adhesion right gorgeous there. Got a little gorgeous. bubble got a little bubble there well it's not it's actually just a little excess medium so hmm. I can work that out and there it goes gone we love these erase papers so how where would you like the camera to be now um we're gonna kind of keep it right here oh awesome now, what I would do is I would um, certainly let this dry. Give it enough time to dry before you start taking your sanding block. It'll be much better if you do. Can I see it fraying? No, but that's good. It's fine. But you want to go at a 45 degree angle. To remove that. Megan, this is always your favorite. It part, is, but I it? don't like it when you do it when it's still wet. I know. It stresses me out. It's not as clean and Should satisfying. Be. Oh, you guys should see the back of my Halloween house. I said to mom, I'm going to tell people, sure, the front of it's spooky, but the back is a horror show. It's terrifying. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's a true, actual yeah. patchwork quilt. But who cares, right? No. Not once did mom comfort me and say, we don't do perfect at L&J Goods. 
What color is that? Is it brown in the background of that? It, it's like a brown and black mix. Yeah. Think of when we did the urns last week. I did ash and I did some oakum and I kind of scumbled them together. Remember yeah. that? Uh-huh. And those urns are living happily at my house right now and I love them to pieces. I don't know if I will have a sleepover on Friday. We'll see. Oh, this is where the... <sighs> you know, I'm just... I have to give it some thought. She didn't try to blackmail me. You don't want me to do... I don't even think you want me to sleep over. Yes, I do. <sighs> we'll see. Jer, I said, Jer, I'll sleep... If Megan spends late, I'll sleep out in the guest cottage with you. He's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's okay. He wants I to be alone out there. stay in here with friends you know don't girls like to do that a little just a sleepover they know what the story is yeah he wants to be alone though. yeah i know is exactly he... what the story is oh i'm getting low power uh-oh okay that is pretty 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 i will do a second coat on my desk later. I'm going to let it dry. So should I go back to the desk? Yeah. But look at that. Oh my gosh, is that going to be pretty? Oh yeah. It that is already. It's really going to be pretty. Uh oh. This thing is. Oh, you, you took it back too far. Yeah, but it's like tilting. If I go forward, the desk is lost. You, have I ever told you guys how much I love filming in the basement? Look, you see for yourself. Sorry for the model. Okay. <laughs> I'll just look. I'll just push the whole thing. Probably got it up too far. Can we see it now? I think we can. I'm waiting. It takes a sec. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. What stone stone would you recommend to start with? I would say one of the flats. Um, depending on the, what do you paint the most of, Shannon? Um, I would say, and it's hard. It's, I would say the stone like the the one the the one and a half inch flat or the two inch is a really good place to start. Paula. Hey, Paula Marquis. It's Paula Marquis. Hello, Paula Marquis. You mean my um, medical bed, Cheryl? Is that what you mean by comfy mattress? <laughs> yes, that is something that I have to take into consideration. <laughs> and also just that I have yoga at eight and I don't like to miss it. My moms are expecting me. Well, they're more at my Monday class, of course, actually. Wait a minute. Her mom is expecting you. Mm -hmm. You guys, she is never going to let this go. I'm telling I know what this is all about. I know exactly what It this is about. about, I do go to yoga on Saturdays at 8. And that's the truth, and you know it. And I don't know if I want to go all the way from the lake. Because then i got to get dressed, and then we have to be here for the retreat. Well, you can't skip yoga for one week. Oh, that is I, pretty. I prefer if I'm... These little spots here where a little bit of my paper came away because I was too hasty, I can always <laughs> yes, my touch gosh, the moan well. a lot, Hazel. <laughs> oh, Hazel, you think? You think? I like it, you guys. Who would imagine? But you know what I think? I feel like it needs some right in there. Do you think? Yeah. Like the same paper, you think? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, you guys? It needs something. I'm just like thinking, what else could you do besides that paper? I don't that know that I want to do anything else in there. It's such a small space, and I don't want to contrast color. But, um, yeah, let me know, you guys. What do you think? No, not a contrast color. I was thinking like a metallic or something. Mm -mm. But... Mm -mm. Not yeah, with the wood the and the brown. Let's just see. What, what kind of hardware are you doing? Uh, I have the original hardware, which I'll probably pop back in there, and it's just a little oval, 
which um, I'll just I'll use some um, some I don't know, gilding wax, mm -hmm. some antique gold the gold wax. They're the gold um, antique paste from Pentart. She used to use chocolate brown a lot, actually, like as a base or a way of like antiquing things. Remember, I feel like you used to put it underneath a mm. lot of things. All right. But no, I don't think I've ever, it's been a long time since I've seen her paint a piece of furniture brown. See, I would have to piece this, and I don't know that I want to piece this. I don't know that I want to piece this. I have to think about it. I have to play around with this. Um, let me see. I'm just not sure. I am not sure. I mean, I could piece it. What do you think, you guys? I'm really stuck. I don't know what I should do. Someone suggested putting a mold. <gasps> That's a great idea. That's not a bad idea, but I'm, I'm looking at this and feeling like that it needs a bridge to connect these two drawers. So guess what? I'm probably going to end up doing this. I'm looking at the repeat here, and it looks like I could probably put this right up here. I mean, I've got gold, too. Just gold in there? No, like a mold with maybe a bit of gilding. Maybe. Okay, so what do we do when we're in a quandary like this? What do we do? Wait, walk away from it. Walk away from it. it. I'm going to come back and look at this tomorrow and see what um, what I think of it then. So Karen uh, says lock and key mold, and Cheryl also said walk away. Yeah, yeah, because then I'm not going to. I'm not running the danger of having to redo something. Right. So. Um, yeah, everyone's I, literally saying walk away, walk, walk away, away walk before away. I literally, I, I have like, I have like shakes, wow. like wanting to do something, but this is where I have to really listen to like, listen to my gut and, or listen to reason and say, walk away. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it's time to wrap it. I really do too. I don't think I <laughs> All right. <laughs> Megan's gonna be laughing so hard. <laughs> okay, we got we gotta go. That's all there is. We're just done. <laughs> oh, we are just being so silly. Mom's making me laugh. <laughs> you guys, okay. thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> and um, Megan, can you hold that? That wire up, it's probably right in the way. Oh, but we're just so happy you're here. <laughs> Basement uh, Chronicles week 30. See you Friday. If, you, if <laughs> we will be going live on Friday upstairs, please, uh -huh. please, please, if you are Sweater. enjoying our content, make sure that you've subscribed. Make sure and you share, but maybe not this video. Share one of the good <laughs> ones. Comment below. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. We really could use your support over here yes. on YouTube. And it's a very simple way to engage and let us know that you enjoy watching. Yes, thank you. Uh, for those of you that are going to be here tomorrow um, or Friday, we look forward to seeing you. We're so excited. And uh, those of you that usually join us upstairs live on Fridays, we'll still be live on Friday. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll do something fun. You guys have a wonderful okay. um, evening, and we'll see you soon. Take Bye. care. Uh, <laughs> There's that sign again. I don't know how to. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. It's. Well, unscrew the box.